In most lifts, only a single hook is available. This means that multiple leg slings must be collected at the load hook. When this is done, we form what we call a rigging triangle. There are several things about the rigging triangle that should be reviewed. The included angle is checked for proper connection of the hoist hook or collector ring. The horizontal sling angle must be known to properly select slings and fittings at the load connection. When collected at the hook or collector ring, slings place a side load on the eye bolt or lifting point at the load. As the sling length is shortened, the sling angle is reduced. As the sling length is increased, the sling angle is increased. A horizontal sling angle of 60 degrees or greater is always the best choice. Never allow a horizontal sling angle smaller than 30 degrees. Focusing on the horizontal sling angle, the rigging triangle gives us information on the loads placed on the sling. As the horizontal sling angle becomes smaller, the slings and fittings at the load connection work harder. The slings also place more crushing force on the load. Thus, as the sling angle approaches 30 degrees, the multiplier increases significantly. Below 30 degrees, the multiplier increases even more dramatically. Never allow a horizontal sling angle smaller than 30 degrees. It can be seen that at 60 degrees horizontal sling angle, the multiplier is 1.15 or 1.2 rounded off. For a 45 degree horizontal sling angle, the multiplier is 1.414 or 1.4 rounded off. For a 30 degree horizontal sling angle, the multiplier is 2.0. In the rigging triangle, we can use the fact that if you take the length of the sling, measured from bearing point to bearing point, and divide by the drop, you have the load multiplier. By using this fact, the use of length over height offers us several tools that can be used in rigging. The most basic tool is that the sling angle can be measured by use of a tape measure. If the sling length is 50 inches long, and the rigging triangle is 25 inches high, we can determine that length over height is equal to 2.0. We now know that the horizontal sling angle is 30 degrees. A more powerful tool is the use of length over height to calculate the load in each sling leg and in the fitting at the load connection. Remember that the load multiplier increases the vertical load, which is the load if the slings were pulling straight up. In this example, the sling length is 60 inches and the height of the rigging triangle is 50 inches. Notice that the center of gravity is an equal distance to both slings. Length over height is thus equal to 60 over 50, or 1.2. We thus estimate that the horizontal sling angle is 60 degrees, and that the load angle multiplier is 1.2. Since the 10,000 pound load has the center of gravity centered on the slings, the vertical share of the load of each sling is 5,000 pounds. However, since the multiplier is 1.2 at a 60 degree horizontal angle, the actual load on each sling is 1.2 times 5,000 or 6,000 pounds. As we noted previously, not all loads have the center of gravity in the middle of pick points. When two sling legs are used to rig a load with the center of gravity not centered on the slings, we create a rigging triangle with sling lengths that are not equal and horizontal sling angles that are different. Formulas and triangles can be used to solve these problems. As an alternative in the field, a tape measure and use of what we learned about length over height can also be used to ensure that the loading of slings is known. In this example, we have a 10,000 pound load rigged with a synthetic sling on the right and a chain fall on the left. The center of gravity is 96 inches from the chain fall on the left and 24 inches from the sling on the right. If the chain fall lifted vertically, the tension in the chain fall would be 20% of the load weight of 10,000 pounds or 2,000 pounds. If the sling lifted vertically, the tension in the sling would be 80% of 10,000 pounds or 8,000 pounds. But since the chain fall and sling are not lifting vertically, the sling angle multiplier increases the vertical loads. The tension on the chain fall will be the vertical load of 2,000 pounds times the length over height multiplier of 1.42, or 2,840 pounds, at a sling angle of approximately 45 degrees. The tension of the sling will be the vertical load of 8,000 pounds times the length over height multiplier 1.03, or 
or 8,240 pounds, at an angle greater than 60 degrees.